Now we're going to work exercise 1-11 from page 52 in the book. So this is like your second homework problem that um, is out there in Connect. So with this problem, um, we're just going to do a little calculating of um, cost per unit, total cost, that kind of thing. And uh, we're going to do it under several different um, circumstances, different units produced and sold. So we got Harris Company, they make one product, and we're going to do a schedule of costs at 30, 40, and 50,000. Um, in your McGraw-Hill Connect, these numbers may be different or your costs may be different, but the idea is going to be the same. So we got this partially filled out table here, and our job is to finish calculating it. All right, so I've made myself a little table here already so that I don't have to do so much writing. I can just kind of show you what to do. Um, so we need to move variable costs at 30,000 are um, 180. Fixed costs are 300. And so that makes my total cost here, I guess, 480. All right, so that's what they've given me. That's all I know. All right, so now I have to figure things out. Well, um, well, I know fixed costs are fixed costs, right? So 300 all the way across. All right, so there's that. And now I need to know variable costs. Well, now the variable cost stays the same. Every unit I make has the same variable cost, but I need to figure out what's the cost per unit. So I know if we make 30,000, the variable total cost is 180. So to calculate a variable cost per unit, I take my total variable cost and divide it by the number of units. So it's 180,000 divided by 30,000, right? And that's equal to $6 per unit. All right, so that's my variable cost per unit, $6. So as the number of units increase, my total variable cost is going to increase by $6 for every additional unit, right? So that means at 40,000, right? My total variable cost is 40,000 times 6. 4 times 6 is 24, so that's 240,000 total cost at $6 per unit. At 50,000 at $6 per unit, so 5 times 6 is 30, so that's 300,000 per total cost. So my variable total costs are here, my fixed total costs are here. Now I can figure out the rest of my total costs, right? So 240 plus 300 uh, gives me a total cost of 540, right? Uh, 300 and 300 is 600. Okay, so my total costs, if I produce 30,000, it's going to cost 480,000. If I produce 40,000, it's going to cost 540,000. If I produce 50,000, it's going to cost 600,000. Right? So now I want to figure out what's my cost per unit? Right? Well, I've already figured out my variable cost, right? That doesn't change no matter how many I make. My unit cost, right? So variable cost unit costs never change. The cost per unit is not going to change for variables. On variables, it's the total cost that changes with more units. Okay, so up here under total cost, yes, I got incre I increased by six dollars per unit, but now my variable cost is just six dollars per unit. All right, fixed costs, the more units I create, the lower my fixed costs get because I'm going to take my total fixed costs and divide them by the number of units. So for 30,000 units, 
right? I take 300,000 and divide it by 30,000 and I get 10 per unit, right? Under 40,000, I take 300,000, I divide it by 40,000 and I get 750 per unit, right? Under 50,000, I take 300,000, divide it by 50,000, and I get uh, $12, I'm sorry, I get $6 per, $6 per, per unit. So you see how it's getting smaller. The more units I, the more units I produce, the lower my per unit fixed cost gets. All right, so I put my $6 here. So, what's my total cost per unit if I make 30,000 units? My total cost per unit is $16. If I make 40,000 units, my total cost per unit is $13.50. And if I make 50,000 units, my cost per unit is $12. So that answer that helps me answer a lot of questions. If I make these different amounts of units, what will my total cost be? And how what is my cost per unit so that if I needed to know should I make more units, I I've got this answer right here. All right. So that's how we fill in the chart. Now, it does ask us another question here. It says, assume that the company produces and sells 45,000 units during the year at a selling price of $16 per unit. Prepare a contribution format income statement for the year. All right, so I went ahead and kind of wrote out a contribution format income statement. You take your sales minus your variable expenses, and it gives you your contribution margin, right? Then you subtract your fixed expenses, and it gives you net operating income. And of course, these are all totals, right? I mean, you could do a contribution format income statement with per unit costs, certainly, but yeah, this is, this is totals. So sales, let's see, what did they tell us? 16 and 45. So, so sales revenue is um, price times number of units sold, right? And so that ends up being um, 720,000. All right, next, variable expenses. So um, we know that the variable expenses are $6 per unit. So six times 45, so that's a 45 in case you couldn't tell, which you couldn't. All right, so six times 45 is 270. So, okay, so our contribution margin is 450,000. Fixed expenses we know, right, 300,000. And, uh, That means net operating income, 450 minus 300,000 is $150,000. All right, so we happen to know that our net operating income is 150,000, and we know that at 45,000 units, um, uh, those 45,000 units are contributing 450,000 to cover uh, fixed expenses. All right, so there is a contribution format income statement. That's it for chapter one stuff on the homework. You do have some chapter five problems on the homework, so you may want to refer to those videos to look at that. Um, all right, good luck on this one.